Would you rather have a white boring screen or a custom animated screen? Well, if you choose the second option, let's continue into the video. But before I move on, if you guys like my video and want to help me out, consider liking the video, subscribing to my channel, and turn on post notifications so you never miss out my videos. Let's get into it. So today I'll be showing you two ways on how to customize your Google screen. As you can see, when you open it for the first time, it's this really dull white color. And obviously you wanna add that finesse to it and like customize it because, well, it kinda looks boring. No offense, Google, but that's why they added two ways uh, that you can customize it. Both of them are free and you can change them or remove it at any time. So way number one is gonna be really simple. As you can see, there's your search engine, your Google, your ad shortcut, and down here it will say customize. So you can add a background, shortcuts, and color and theme. So let's start with the color and theme. Basically, color and theme will be make, will making it really simple. Let's say I choose red, okay, and press done. The whole thing becomes red. Now, if you just wanted a simple color, obviously you can do it like that. But if you want to make it a little bit more advanced, you might even choose a background color. For example, a background uh, image, okay? Uh, you can also do solid colors again, but there is another one. Ah, you can choose any of these, okay? I'm gonna choose Cityscape. Or you can also import them from your PC, okay? Uh, I'm gonna use this one, this red bridge. Ah, here it is, and press done. So basically now what it did was the image is the background, but the red will be like your tabs and all that stuff. Okay? So this is obviously really simple. And if you want to go back to it and refresh it, I mean, not refresh it, but like, like remove it, press no background, and then go to color and theme and make it white. Or you can press on the gradient thing and make it 255, 255, and 255. Okay? You can all make, and then it will make it white and boom it resets to your normal white color so that will be way number one but way number two requires you to go to your settings basically if i press f11 and i press on these three dots they'll go into your settings one sec as i move um one sec because i didn't hide my email for example and my name settings Okay, you can see it, right? And I'll also move my name so you can see it. Okay, as you can see, you have your tabs on the side, right? It says you and Google autofill safety check. Look for appearance. And then it'll show you theme Chrome colors. If you reset it to default, you can reset this to default anytime. Okay, or you can press this arrow key uh, like export key, okay? And it'll show you, and if you export it, it'll take you to Google Shop, Google Web Store. And as you can see, you'll have your multiple published by Google. Now these are all free, and they're all uh, available to every Google member, okay? So there's got many, and obviously, these are really cool. Black Panther, you got Deadpool, um, you got your cool cars. Ooh, I actually like this car. Ooh, hmm. And even if I press on this one, okay, it'll ask me, and then you can press add to Chrome. Basically, it's gonna add an extension. I press add to Chrome. It's gonna check me. It's added to Chrome. I'm gonna add a new tab. And boom, look at it. Oops, uh, old tab and F11. Look at it, it customizes it and it looks awesome. Now, if I wanna go back, let me go back to my other tab. Okay, uh, you can go here. Basically what I can do is I can go back to my themes. I can choose another one. And I, this time I'm gonna scroll up and use one of the simple ones. But let's see, ooh, you got your uh, space. And, but what the difference between these two is basically these are images and that can animate and like really affect the Google home screen. Well, the other ones are just um, 
just simple add-ons. Because these are like your mods in like games, right? You can customize your things. This is where you can, ooh, customize it and add it. So I'm gonna use, and then you can also, also press view all if you wanna like check more in that theme. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna choose this theme. And I like this one. And you know what? I'm gonna be using this customized for all my uh, future tutorial videos for Google. So I'm just gonna add to Chrome. And boom, it's added to Chrome. And then I'll press Alt Tab and boom, it actually looks really cool. And as you notice, now everything is red and black. Okay, basically here's what the difference is. Basically, like I said before, this is like your mod in your video games. Basically, this allows you to change, oops, everything. Because as you notice, the new tab is red. Normally, it's white or black. So, this is really awesome. So, if you guys like my videos and you found this video helpful, please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. And yeah, I'll be seeing you later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>